Hey guys, today's video, we're gonna talk about recovering leather seats. Now, as you know, I have this 2006 Honda S2000, and one of the issues that I've had is just a really bad leather cracking. If you can see in these photos, this leather has basically never recovered. It's horribly cracked, it's peeling. Seats are not in great condition. Uh, I looked into some of the recovering options, uh, but I didn't really like the way some of them look. And so if you, if you know what I mean, there's these seat covers that you just basically slip around the outside, but it doesn't solve the problem of degrading foam. And that's something that I really have a problem with is the foam is breaking down and it's crushed. And so I've reached out to this guy. He's just kind of a private install, a referral from the dealer, um, different detailers I've worked with. And he's going to rebuild the foam and get new custom leather covers cut uh, exactly to shape and to color. So let's take a look. So you can see I've already taken the seats out here. It is not that hard. Uh, it's four bolts and two electrical clips, but with the convertible top out, it's super easy. Here you can see the seats, and this is what I'm talking about. The, the foam here, uh, this is on the driver's side, is just squished. So it's really broken down and needs to be rebuilt. I've got some of these deep gouges here. Um, again, it's just a lot of wear and tear, despite looking pretty good for a 15 year old Honda, the seats are ready for a refresh. All right, you can see the seats are stacked pretty nicely in this Volvo. Nothing will fit in the trunk, but that back seat fits plenty. Here we are pulling up to Texas seat. All right, so we're here at Texas seat. Just dropped them off. Got some cool seats back here. All right, goodbye guys. We'll see you soon. Hello, how are you? All right, we're with uh, Diego here at Texas Seat, and uh, you know, just picking up these seats for the Honda S2000. You can see. All right, checking out the seats. Is there any problems with the foam or? Mm, a little bit, but you know, we put the extra foam in that side right here. Yeah. No, they look great. The, the colors look pretty good too. Yeah, it's pretty close. You think um, will will it stretch out more, like in any of these corners? Yeah, normally you know when it's you know th this is the workshop here. They've got tons of fabric, tons of material. So if you're in DFW and you're looking for some seats, you know, hit this guy up. I'll drop his uh, website and Facebook and phone number in the comments. Thank you. All right, guys, super excited. Just picked up these brand new rebuilt foam and brand new leather seats for the Honda S2000 because I don't have a truck. And it ended up being perfect because it just started raining after I got here. They're inside. I've got the t-shirts wrapped around all of the frame mount bars. So that's the uh, metal pieces of the seat that can cut the leather in here irony if uh, if I did damage the interior of this car moving these other seats but let's talk about the seats they look great you know are they 100% OEM no but are they significantly better than before yes absolutely is it also better than paying two thousand dollars for for new seats you know I, I think absolutely you, you don't need to get all OEM for this old car. I mean, it's a 2006. For me, the, the value is not quite there. Was this a lot of work to track this guy down? I talked to a couple different installers to try to find the right uh, pair of skins. And if you have a later model car, you can actually buy factory leather covers, seat covers, instead of, you know, for this project, we actually had to custom cut them you know, he pulled the old seats off, he used them as a template, and then he actually cut new leather uh, by hand. So it's kind of like an all custom OEM job. Not always the case, depending on what's available. In particular for me, because the S2000, they don't make it anymore, it's very hard to find old stock or OEM product. Anyway, um, the thing that I'm just really impressed with is the smell. You know, it's got that new leather, uh, very it's a great smell another tip too is that I always put things in the back seat and I wrap the seat belt around it 
that really just keeps it from sliding forward too much. You don't want the seats to move at all. Uh, just given the way this, the t-shirts are wrapped around the metal and everything is kind of perfectly positioned so it's all smooth surfaces on the leather and, and padded, you just don't want um, the seats to move around as you're braking or accelerating. It's pouring down rain. I'm going to pause this video and just wait till I get back home. So, All right, well, that was a really uh, flash storm, but I think the worst part is over, so I'm going to keep recording. But overall, you know, I, I'm just really happy with these seats. I think that as a car enthusiast or somebody that's going to buy an older car, this is one of the most important tips. You've got to have a guy or you've got to have a shop, I would say is better, that performs the types of functions that you need. And this, you know, is hopefully going to be a guy that now I have interior. He can do anything custom leather. He does the thread. He does piping. Whatever you need, perforated leather, he can either fix or he can restore. And that's really what's exciting to me is because this was a test. This was the first time I had used him or his shop. And I'll just run down, you know, the types of people that I typically need given my level of build and how I'm interested in cars. You know, you need a detailer, somebody that can do the, uh, the quartz application, the ceramic. He can do that full detail job and he can tell you, uh, you know, how to take care of your paint, the clear coat. So you have a great detail guy. You maybe have some supplies that you do for your own. And then you have to decide what, what else do you need. So for me, I have a track shop and they mostly do suspension. They'll do bolt-ons. I think they do a little bit of engine troubleshooting, but for the most part for a race car, you know, the alignment and aero and installation, those, those are really critical. And so they're doing a lot of routine maintenance, uh, fluid checks, but with the caveat that they're focused on track performance. Okay. So that's Texas track works. They are going to take care of all my cars. You have your detailer, who I have Tyler's detail. He does an amazing job on all my cars. Now you've got an interior guy. You know, that really kind of rounds out the main things that I need. Uh, you may need a body shop. I uh, use a Mako, believe it or not. They have a really good, you know, franchise. So the national reputations don't always apply to your local shops. I have a really good relationship with a Mako uh, franchise near me in Dallas, and so they can do some respray. I've had the bumpers, more than one bumper resprayed by them just over the years. Um, again, depending on what your build levels are, maybe you need an engine guy, maybe you need a tuner, but whatever your goals are for your car, you know, I think it's really important to build out that Rolodex. And if you're too young and you don't know what that means, Google it. But you've got to build out your team based on how you're going to live your car life. And, you know, that's something that I really enjoy about this channel and putting content out for you guys. Because it helps you if you're getting started and you say, I want to do track days. I want to keep my cars, my daily driver clean. Maybe I need to fix an interior. Maybe I need to respray. Well, hopefully this can be a resource in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. These are the places that I can go, and Ron has been there and, and has had good experiences. So uh, I'll follow up now. We're going to install. We're going to put the seats back in. In the meantime, I have vacuumed it. I've got a great little handheld vac, and so I, got real, I really got under the carpet and underneath where the seats bolt in. So the interior is clean. I've uh, swapped out the pads and put in some more fluid, uh, bled the brake system. But I put the stock OEM pads back in the brake pads. So the car is really getting finalized. It's, it's, I'm really excited uh, for better or for worse. I'm excited for the new car, which I test drove a 718 Cayman. This was just a base model. I think it's going to be plenty of power for me. That turbo just spools very fast. So watch another video for that when I buy that car. But in the meantime, we're putting this car back to stock and going to put it on the market soon. So let's take a look at the install all right the seats are in i'm super happy with them the perforated leather and the color matching was really fantastic so check it out if you want to know how to get your seats in restored condition check out this video all right guys well we got the seats installed you know i i really was happy with the whole experience here I think the longest part of refinishing your seats is A, finding the right person to do it and then actually getting the date set to bring them over. 
So for me, I had to take the seats out of the car. Uh, I put them in my Volvo. I drove them over. And there are a couple of variations that I think you should figure out before you refinish your seats. One is, is a leather pattern available? And two is, is there foam available that you can purchase? Because for my particular seats, he had to cut a pattern from raw leather that he sourced from a Honda supplier, but it was the raw leather. And then he had to rebuild the foam directly and he didn't have any pre-purchased shapes. The timing process overall, it was about two weeks from when I dropped the seats off, I said goodbye to my little friends and they came back as brand new, recovered, beautiful looking seats. And one of the unexpected benefits that I really, really enjoy now is the smell. I love the smell of this leather. It makes me feel like a new car, even though I've got a tired steering wheel, everything else is a little bit older, but the smell is great and it's, um, one of the unexpected side effects of having real new leather in a car is leather smell. All right, well, that wraps up this seat recovering for my Honda S2000. I'm really, really happy with the outcome. I think that the seat leather itself, you know, there's three main parts to recovering the seat. You have your seat pattern, you have your leather, and then you have your foam. And all of these things may come from the factory. For this Honda S2000, they were out of stock. So he had to cut the pattern, off of, model this off of the old seats. He had to buy this custom leather, and then he had to rebuild the foam by hand. So all of those things cost a little bit extra, and you can get a discount if you could provide any of those to your seat guy. So as you can tell, you know, my seats were in pretty bad shape to start with. There was a lot of ripping. There were a lot of seams and just creases, and you know, they were old. They were, they were track seats, so they've been wet, they've been dirty. And I think it was it was really a great outcome. There are a couple of spots, and I'll show you where around the radius, the stitching is not perfect. There's a little bit of a overlap or a little bit of a crease, but the guy says that they will come out with the heat in Texas, you know, park the car in the summer, let it expand, let it shrink a little bit, and they will pull together to the stitching. So we'll see about that. He also said, if you want to accelerate it, you can get a heat gun, which I have a two-stage heat gun. Uh, but you could do that if you want to accelerate that process and really make it perfect perfect Otherwise, I would say that the color is like a nine nine and a half out of ten the perforated leather is perfect That's a ten out of ten and then the seat bolster is amazing. You know, I really um, I forgot how much support these stock bolsters get you just with that stock height um, It's a constant pressure on my leg and I like it. It's it reminds me of having a sports car again It's like having brand new seats put back in your car if you have bolsters that have kind of flattened down from use. So foam, leather, pattern, and all that stuff, those are the key things to consider. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned the cost, but it was a thousand bucks. You know, it was a very reasonable cost. I thought it's all included and it was more expensive because I had I wasn't able to buy the foam, I wasn't able to buy the patterns. So it would have been a little bit cheaper, like 800 or 700 bucks if I could have provided the foam or patterns uh, bought elsewhere. And uh, shout out to Texas Seed Interiors. You know, he really helped me out. I'll post his info in his comments down below. If you happen to be in DFW, check out his shop in Seagoville. He'll take care of you. Otherwise, you know, smash that like button, subscribe if you want more car rate related content, and we'll see you next time.